hands in the fire, fire I like to see how you move, darling What it do, what it do, La La Gang. Happy Tuesday. I hope everybody out there is doing good and doing great. I am doing good, doing great. Blessed and staying productive. Do you hear that, JJ? Ha! Blessed and staying productive. And I hope that y'all are blessed and doing great and staying productive as well. Ha! Uh, let me say that again, okay? Blessed and staying productive, JJ. It's crazy how, and I'm already jumping into it, y'all, but let me stop. I just want to get on here and just, you know, uh, <clears throat> I went lurking, watching on Philip's channel, now that I have his channel, uh, listening around in YouTube street, watching JJ and her hoodies, being that, girl, now you want to be the man, okay? And I see why they call you jazz man or jazz the man. Girl, you want to be so, I mean, and then that's where I say, God Dang, okay. I was finna say God damn, but I ain't gonna say that. God dang, okay. You wanna be the man and hefty wanna be the woman, okay? <laughs> what roles are y'all playing here? Because I'm just saying, at some point, at some point, at some time, you can't be that rah-rah, you can't be that rough and tough. I'm just saying, you 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 can't. You know, and then y'all. I was listening to her talking her little live yesterday where she was rolling around, okay, just riding around in a little van, okay, with a dog in the I mean, what happened? I mean, where did y'all go? I mean, you know, I'm just saying. Where did y'all go? Why did you have to go live in the van and, and, and talk to the people? But this is my thing. JJ talks so rough and tough. She ready for whatever, okay? When when she's saying that Strong Mama Christy was still staying in the area, okay? Y'all know the area where they were staying in. George, I'm just saying, uh-huh. Uh, they were staying in that same area and was saying that she, she, she wanted to meet up with Christy because she wanted to fight. Did y'all hear that? These supposed to be grown-ass women. But they don't know what fucking grown is, okay? They don't know what being a woman is, okay? So then that's where I say when we get on here and we talk about hefty and a lot of people, a lot of y'all be saying, girl, you using that man word too loosely. I don't like that. I don't like, okay. So then that's where I flip it on y'all and say we using that grown woman word too loosely. These are not grown women here, okay? They don't know what grown women is to, to even give it. There's no way as me being... A, a supposed to be fucking content creator, supposed to be a fucking mother, supposed to be a wannabe wife, okay, and I'm trying to meet somebody in the parking lot to fight, like, and that's, then that's when I say I have no words, because then my mouth want to open and say, bitch, who are you? Did y'all not see my short? Did y'all see my short when I said, what did I miss with, with, with JJ? What is she giving? I don't know. Somebody somewhere in there <laughs> resuscitated her, resuscitated her and tried to bring her back to life, back to life as them or somebody else, but not bring her back to life as being her own individual. I'm just saying so then that's where I say when she get cool with these friends, okay? Because y'all know when she was cool with Chrissy, she was rah-rah. She was bad. She wanted to fight. She was telling uh, Chrissy's baby daddy, ex-husband, still husband, whatever he is to her. 
you know, his new girlfriend or whatever, like she'll pull up and this and that. Like she just, and then that's where I say, use that same fucking energy in the kitchen when you cooking for your kids and serving them that food. Be ready. You understand? Be ready at all times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to go throw hands, bitch? I mean, come on. I mean, what are y'all giving here? I'm just saying. What what role model are you for your kids? And then that's where I would question myself and say, you're absolutely not. Okay? You're absolutely not one at all for your girls. I'm just saying. And it's crazy then when your kids go outside of the home, then you have somebody that carry themselves way better and like a grown woman should and then that's what rolls off on your kids. You understand? And then that's where in the background, y'all y'all childish, okay? Y'all childish girls, okay? That's what I would call y'all because not women. And like I said, I don't know what role JJ giving right now, so I wouldn't even put her in the category because I'm just put her as, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't classify her at the moment, okay? Because she giving too, she giving too much. I'm just saying it then. Yeah, I mean... Y'all, yeah, maybe Judy Booty is bending it over for JJ. I'm just saying, I don't know what they playing. I mean, JJ buying cars and paying the bills and trying to satisfy him, make sure he's good. And I'm just saying, letting him control everything, let him uh, take over her roles with the kids. What do y'all think? I think have to get all them hips because, yeah, shit, it ain't really what we're thinking. I'm just saying, y'all. And that's why he, he say, y'all remember he said he don't approach women. We know why you don't approach women. You like women to approach you to take full control. Full control in that way because you want to take control the other way. I see why your hips and your butt is sitting on your back. I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all. Uh, so, that's where I get out of that. So anyway, listening to her talk, fighting and all this stuff. And then even going on to mingling, dingling, saying fighting. Yeah, like, y'all need to sit down somewhere. At this moment, at this time, y'all got all these kids over here. Like, what happened to being role models? Okay? Hey, you can't be wretched and wretched and raunchy at all times, okay? At some point, at some time, try to carry yourself like somewhat of a lady. I'm just saying, you just have to. Uh, then moving along, I also want to talk about how Olivia fucked up crack life, okay? Live, live life is messed up over there, y'all. Let's talk about live life real quick. How does she have... This is what I want to know, y'all, and then that's, that, then that's when I would jump and go, but I want to go back. How is it that you have time for everything in a YouTube streets. You have time for it. Everything that is not about fighting for your kids, you got time for it. Everything else that's putting your energy into everything that ain't got nothing to do with nothing, you got time for it. But you ain't got time to go get a lawyer. You ain't got time to go, you know what I'm saying? I would say... Fight for your rights of getting more time with your kids, okay? I'm just saying, because I wouldn't want it to be... This is me, okay? I wouldn't want it to be how it is now, which I wouldn't be so accepting of it. But then that's where I told y'all she is accepting of the situation, but the only time she is not accepting of the situation is she wants somebody to feel sorry for her, you know, try to come on so y'all could feel a certain type of way so she can catch a game. And then that's where I say catch a game, catch a game with a cash app, catch a game in some type of way. But then I go back and say, she can care less about these kids because you put your time and your energy and your focus into every fucking thing else. But then that's where I say, when was the last time you went and talked to a lawyer? When was the last time you got on here and talked about the money that you have set to the side for a lawyer. You understand? You're too busy trying to be in the bushes. Be in the bushes, girl. You're too big be in the fucking bushes. I'm just saying. We see that shit moving. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. Uh, In the bushes. So that's what I heard. Somebody was in my comments trying to explain the situation. and say, live life. Took the idea from guess who? These thir thirsty, okay? No content heaven. Listen to these thirsty, no content heaven, okay? Struggling. 
reactors, okay? Damn, and then that's when I say, when you start stealing... But it goes back to what I said. When you start stealing content from the reactors, when you start stealing ideas from the reactors and trying to make it your own. And then that's where I say all these chicks are struggling. They're struggling for content. They're struggling for views. And they're struggling for subs. And we cannot forget they are struggling for fucking likes. Okay, they always asking for a like, always asking you to put some likes on that video. Allow the people to watch and put the like on if they want to. You understand? I don't need you to force me to put a like because then I feel forced in this situation. I don't want to feel forced. I want to feel comfortable. I'm just saying. And then I want to ask y'all, Mingling Dingling, does she, is she still selling body butter? I need to go over there and see what Mingling Dingling got going. Y'all know Mingling Dingling be so fucking boring, okay? I'm just saying, I've been a fall asleep. That's why I said during reactions, <laughs> I know them people over there sleeping, okay? Sleeping. <laughs> when they wake up, the video is fucking over. I'm just saying, trying to sit down and give a reaction on somebody. Uh, but yes, yeah, like I'm saying with Olivia. How is it? And then that's where somebody need to ask her. She's so worried about her kids a steady coming on here saying, I'm trying to find where my son practice is and drop. We're tired of hearing that shit. Because you know what? I think a real mother, this is what a real mother would do, okay? If I know that my kids is in a certain area, okay? I mean, how many fields? You can go to as many fields. You can find out who we plan for and worry. It ain't that hard. Who think it's that hard as she trying to make it? But I'm going to make it seem that hard is because I want to continue to stretch. I want to continue to stretch this situation. Okay? I got to have something to talk about. I got to have something to bring it. So if I continue to say, I want to go to my son practice. I want to be able to be there and cheer him on and this and that. Shit. Do you really? Because when your kids was with you, you didn't put them in no type of fucking activity. Only activity was to be at home. That's it. And watch you do what the fuck you do with these random ass guys. I'm just saying. So now all of a sudden, I want to be this soccer mom, involved mom. I want to cheer them on. Are you sure? Okay. Or you just want to lurk. Lurk around and see what's really going on. Nobody got time for you and your ghetto shit and your ghetto ways that you bring to the table. And that's what people normally say, trailer park, trailer park, trash. And let me say for the ones that's out there standing in a trailer, it is not directed to you, but is it directed to her ass for sure? Okay, I'm just saying. And then that's why I say with both of them being friends, they should be friends, okay? Maybe they can learn something from each other because now one of them got shit to give. There's no way that I can befriend somebody that who has lost their kids and care less about their kids being gone. You understand? Someone that is so messy and full of drama. That's what JJ like. You know, that's that's her high. You understand? She's smoking Olivia's ass, okay? That's her high. That what makes her be, that what gives her life, okay? If Olivia was to tear her ass, I wonder what JJ had to say then. Okay, and then that's where I would say, JJ, I wonder, are you questioning what's really going on behind the scenes with live life and mingling, dingling, lingling? You understand? I would question that. You understand? So when I'm sitting here telling all my information and what's going on in my house and thinking I really have a friend on the side, it's only a matter of time. And I'm going to say it again. It's only a matter of time that she going to flip on your ass. Okay, because... Everything is about a view, right? So I believe it's only a matter of time. And then put in the comments down below, what do y'all think? It's only a matter of time to why she explode on JJ, okay? Explode on JJ and then put all the information and dirt out here about JJ. I'm just saying. She did it once before, okay? Yeah, JJ. We know you were... As I said in my video, she liked to drink and pop pills. And then, yeah... You like to snort shit up your nose, too. We ain't forget. I'm just saying. So, birds of a feather. Everything that you are giving, getting with Olivia, that's basically what Jazz is giving, okay?
I'm just saying. But then moving along, y'all. So uh, Philip put out a video. Let's talk about some dads here, okay? Uh, put out a video. Chill week weekend with the kiddos. Hmm. I want to know what got him started to YouTube, you know, because at first he wasn't too into YouTube with uh when he was with JJ, you know, he wasn't into being in the camera and stuff. Well, that's what he used to put on and act. But now, you know, he, he seemed like he's with it and his girlfriend. <sighs> Why did it take women on the outside? To come in and step up to somebody else's kids that ain't even stepping up for their own kid, doing their own fucking duty as a as a mother, as a parent. But it takes somebody else on the outside to step up and do for your kids. And then that's where I am sitting here in front of my laptop and say, this, this situation here with Philip's girlfriend, Hannah, reminds me of Gerard fiance nisha okay good women okay that comes in and step up and take care and treat the kids as if they are my own and then they have parents that don't that's not even treating their kids like that you understand i was watching this video and ava was playing with the girl uh her face and doing couldn't Daryl with jj <laughs> couldn't dare. <laughs> I'm just saying. And then that's where I go to say, okay, with JJ's situation, it's just about JJ and Hefty and somewhat legendary, okay? Not so much of her kids because she ain't free with her kids. She not free with her kids at all. And then I was remember I was talking about talking to someone, I don't know who I was, or it was a sub or comment, when we talked about how JJ was when she didn't have a man, okay? When nobody was in the picture, she wouldn't even get up out the bed to feed her kids, y'all. Did y'all not know that? She wouldn't even get out the bed, but you know what she would do? She would get on her live. She would go live. She would get up and go live before feeding her fucking kids. Does that make sense? Kids have not had breakfast for the morning, but I'm still in the bed on live to where Kaylin, and she bragged about this shit, had to get up and make waffles and stuff for everybody, okay? And Kaylin had to be about seven, seven, eight then, I'm just saying. While she's stuck in the bed on live, then that's where I say, you know, keeping her kids still shut out. Now, I also said in my video yesterday that I do give Philip a pat on the back as being, you know, I, I, what he giving and what he's showing for YouTube is being good with the kids, okay? And then that's where I also said I don't give all the way good because it's, it's a lot of things as being a father that should not be overlooked. And then that's where I would say, then if you start comparing to Gerard, because somebody wanted to give him the same props as Gerard, I wouldn't. Because listening to videos, seeing certain situations, I would have to question my kids about their well-being. And that's one thing I don't see him really into is the well-being. I can have fun with them and the material things and love on them. That's good. But do we question the kids about their well-being? And then that's where I say in a lot of households, we don't have parents that actually do that. You understand? Even with JJ, I'm pretty sure she don't sit down with her girls after she done had her kids at home all day with Hefty and she's doing whatever. Question and say, hey, how did everything go? How did he treat you? What was it? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm like that, y'all. I don't care who it is. It could be... Just like my baby and his daddy. I don't care. So how was it? Did everybody treat you right? What did you eat? What you do? You know, those are certain things that I want to know. Because if I hear, okay, anything that's not okay, then I have to activate. I have to activate that play button of that, that mother within me to say, hold up, what the fuck, wait a minute, uh-uh, this ain't going to happen. But we don't have that. 
Okay, we don't have that. We have childish girls that's coming on trying to be bosses, okay? Don't have no clue of how to start a business, to get the business up off the ground, what to do, because it just don't flow. You can't even keep your household together. You can't even stay, keep stability. You can't even keep your kids. So, shit don't work. Um, so, basically, I seen in the comments a lot was talking about that Philip girlfriend hannah and actually i seen that it took her it took her to take down kaylin's hair why when she's at home with jj every fucking day give some a little bit you are the mother or the father or what are you okay give a little bit then that's where i said damn you can't tell me this woman don't see what they own mother is giving. And sometimes when you see what the mother is giving, it allows you to be even more. You know what I'm saying? This don't make no sense. This girl, her, had been looking crazy for a long time. All you had to do was just take it down, wash it, condition it, have it ready. And then here you go. She gonna braid her or whoever braid her. It's good and ready. We both did our part. You understand? Me as a mother, I did my part. And now you helping me or however with the father's part. How hard is that? I think it's not hard at all. And then that's where I would say the same thing for Nisha and Gerard. Okay? Live life wouldn't comb these kids' hair for days. Then Gerard and Nisha get them, and hair is always done and together. Some people and some women, I would say, might not even have kids, but don't like kids looking crazy, okay? Because at the end of the day, they're not responsible for themselves. The parent is. But if the parent gives no shits and no fucks, I mean, what can you do, okay? And then that's where a lot of people say maybe Philip knows what JJ gives. I'm pretty sure he does. There was old videos where he had to get her up off her ass to go clean the fucking kitchen. Okay? And probably do things for the kids. He knows what the fuck she gives. But then that's where I say, and I've told y'all before, he's good and he's giving good. But we know what we've seen with him before. But then that's where I would say also, okay, where I agreed on the comment. People can change, okay? But we know what he was giving with JJ. These wasn't the best parents. I'm just saying, I wouldn't want my kids with them. Not the way they treat those kids. But JJ is still, still the same. Just bitter, just wicked, just evil, okay? I'm just saying. I never know the parent that get upset because my child says I'm still hungry. Damn. But it's okay for you to be in the bathroom and juggling down this wine, okay? Drinking until you feel like you don't want to drink no more. But when your kids say I'm still hungry, you already ate. That already ate shit. I'm just saying, she needs to stamp that on her forehead. Or tell it to herself when she in there trying to eat the whole fucking refrigerator. I'm just saying, or slicing the refrigerator in half with health arena. I'm just saying, when they chowing down, they need to remember they already fucking ate. Why are y'all eating again? I'm just saying in this situation, okay... I like seeing the kids with Philip. I don't know about y'all, but I do. I like seeing the kids with Gerard. Team Gerard. Who won it? I'm just saying. He stepped up and he did the damn thing. And I and I and I pray that he continue to do it. To continue to leave this childish, no good mother. Okay? Not even a mother. Let her mother uh baby AJ, okay? Continue to give her less than because that's what she deserves. If you can't jump in a pool or dive in a pool to save your kids, save their life, save their well-being, okay? Save their sanity, save their feelings and emotions. Nobody needs to save your ass. I'm just saying, not at all. And the same thing goes for JJ. I'm looking at Philip video and I look at what... 
Gerard puts out and it says, why does it take the father to step in for the kids to, to feel good, feel free, have a good time, but the mothers can't do that because they too stuck doing what? Can we get them likes up? Oh, I need them likes up. Trying to be relevant in the YouTube streets and nobody give a fuck about you. I'm just saying, make it make sense here. Please, y'all, help me. Then we say sell a nice soul to the finest, okay? For YouTube. Shit could be gone tomorrow, but your babies, your blood, what you birthed, your, the life that you created will still be here when YouTube gone away. You understand? That's the point I don't get, y'all. So that's where I want to say I like seeing these kids with their father. I'm just saying. It is what it is. They show love. They show concern in some areas. I ain't talking about Philip. I'm talking about Gerard. But you see where they show the love and the kids enjoy being with them. But then with their mother, it's just, then that lets you know. And these different households, different things goes on. Okay, same thing with live life. Why is it that you home every day and you couldn't comb baby Ryan's hair? Why is it that you cut Robin's hair off because you going through something? JJ, why is it that you keep the kids locked in the room, stuck in the room? Why is it that you always irritated with your kids when they ain't doing shit to you? But when it comes to hefty arena, you all smiles and up his hefty ass. Make it make sense. I'm just saying. Never know sometimes a father can do it way fucking better. I'm just saying. <laughs> Just because I birthed them <laughs> don't mean I could treat them right or I will. I don't got to give a fuck about them. I'm just saying I just have them. That's it. I just collect money for them. That's it. <laughs> but my main focus is hefty and get them lights up. Same thing with Olivia. My main thing is trying to stick my ass in the bushes knowing I can't fucking fit. <laughs> Better yet, huh and JJ bush watching asses, Okay. To the reactors, watching everything. That's why JJ can't stay out for her. That's why she can't. Just saying. If you keep your ass out the bushes, maybe you won't get so scratched up and yeah, be so all, you know, <laughs> in a little <laughs> ruffle, just in an uproar. Stay your ass out the bushes. Anyway, y'all, that's it. That's all for this reaction video. If y'all like this reaction video, let's throw those thumbs up. And do not forget to drop y'all comments down below. Tell me what you think about these hosts. Sitcho, sitcho. What you think about the kids being with their fathers? I'm talking about Gerard and Philip, okay? I'm talking about what JJ and Olivia give it. I'm just saying, and it's Ling, Galing, Ding, Ling, Ling, Ling still serving that body butter. I'm just saying. Or it's all these pop up shops getting shut the fuck down. I'm just saying.